right, we're getting super close to the workshop on Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. And this will be the last video before we get to the workshop. And I wanted to give you again a little, little taste of what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna talk about the number one cause of foot pain. And when I use the word cause, it's different than the type, okay? So we're talking about the types of foot pain. The two most common types are Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis. But the type is only a category. It doesn't talk to you about the cause of the problem, of the symptom, of the condition, of the diagnosis. The cause is a whole different story, okay? And I think for some people this is gonna be surprising, and we're gonna talk about this in more detail, but the number one cause of Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis is actually poor or suboptimal mobility in the hips, okay? And we can all go back to when we were in kindergarten and they talked about how the foot bone is connected to the knee bone and the knee bone is connected to the hip bone and so on and so on. But we know in science and research proves that for every motion that occurs in the foot, there is an equal motion that happens in the hip. Okay, so for example, if I'm looking at my ability to flex my ankle, there's also hip extension, okay? If I'm looking at my foot's ability to pronate or supinate, if I move my foot and flatten it this way, there's gonna be motion in the hip that has to happen because they're interconnected. If I rotate my hips left and right, there's going to be motion. You can do this at home, you can take your shoes off and just turn side to side while looking down at your feet and there's going to be motion that happens in your foot and ankle. And so that is really the theme of what we'll be talking about in the workshop, which is most of the medical community focuses on the foot and the area that's painful. And that's important to do that because that helps us manage the symptoms. It helps us alter the problem. But it doesn't look at the bigger picture, which says, gosh, where is this really coming from? And we, as a society, we sit more than I think we were designed to sit. And so our hips start to lose motion as we get older. You look at a two-year-old's hips and you watch them squat to the floor and they can touch their butt on the floor. And you look at a 20-year-old and that's less and you look at a 40-year-old and that's even less. So the number one cause of foot pain is actually the hips. Now there's other causes. We're gonna talk, there's really three main causes of, hip, of foot pain. But just to give you a sneak preview, we're gonna talk about the hips and how they uh, influence the foot. So I look forward to meeting you. I think you're gonna learn a ton. Um, and uh, thanks for listening.